What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Gigabit Off-Road, checking out the new update, and today we have a brand new episode for you guys, I should say, I have a brand new episode for you guys. So, anyways, like I said, we're going to be working with a different vehicle in this particular episode than we did in the last one. Now, we've got a buggy that's been built a little bit a little bit beforehand on this video, and I'll, full disclosure, I'll tell you why this vehicle has already been modified, basically... Uh, I tried to record a video before this, and then where we built this particular buggy, and my Elgato game capture, uh, or well, HD60, sort of like freaked out and messed up a whole bunch, and now, and now that video was that that video was like I wasn't gonna upload it. It was all like there was a bunch of it was almost like. I don't know if screen tearing is the right term. It was just like everything was either pixelated or things were behind from where they should have been. Anyway, something something got really messed up, and so I was like, "Ooh, I'm not going to show that to you guys. That like that's like way below the quality level I like to keep." So, anyways, back to this particular video. Now, this buggy has maxed out tire grip and about halfway on the engine and the brakes. I'm gonna give it a little bit more power. And then that should be good. Now, this buggy is a little bit smaller than the other one. It's a little bit less crazy than the other buggy. But you can still do a lot of cool stuff with it. Like, look at the, some of the flex you can get out of it. It's it's a really flexible setup. It's a really good, really flexible setup. And uh, we've done a couple of different things. Like, we did some paint. I left the original graphic that came on it because I really like it. And without any further ado, we're going to hit the trails and see what this thing can do. Now, I don't want to go... Duh, I don't know if I want to go down that one. I mean, this one is, is kind of nuts. I mean, what's it called? It's called, oh, Impossible, Im, is that Impossible Hill or Impossible Hell? Impossible Hill. Okay, I was like, do they call it Impossible Hill or Impossible Hell? Because they're probably pretty similar. <laughs> Alright, I'm locking the diffs and going down. I'm actually curious as to see how far down I, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say how far down I can get without rolling over, but that's already happened, so... It looks like we're just gonna tumble down the whole entire- never mind. Good grief, okay. There we go, there we go, there we- if we can spin it around. They do have a new feature to where you can- you can use the steering to kind of spin it a little bit. And sometimes it works, sometimes it- it- it doesn't quite work as well, but, I mean, you can still use it. It just kind of depends on- can we winch to that- yes, we can winch to that tree, oh my god. But it doesn't really help. Okay, um, flipping over. Oh, come on. Come on. I was like, turn left, will you? Please. Plus. What are you doing? I just wanted to throw it down the hill at this point, just so we can get to the bottom. Get to the bottom, and then try to actually climb climb back up this hill. I'm gonna back up the rest of the way. Screw it. Oh, hell yeah. A little 360 spin action. I don't even know what that was. It was, I mean, other than kind of being a bit nuts, but it's fine. All right, just kind of gonna baby it to the bottom of the hill so we can actually turn around and drive back up, no problem. All right, I'm not gonna do the event on that hill yet because if you guys know anything about this hill, this hill is like the death hill. This hill will absolutely kill your, like any, any vehicle you take up this hill, it is going to test it. Like it doesn't matter what it is, it is going to be tested on this hill. This hill is like, judgment for any vehicle you throw at it and I would venture a guess to say it's one of the hardest if not the hardest hill on the map just keeping the speed up keeping the speed that's what these bouncers like they like when you keep the speed oh crap that's the that's the wrong line that is entirely damn it that is the you've gotten it wrong you've gotten it completely wrong line but a little bit of left, and then go, 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 come on, come on. You gotta, like, you gotta be careful with, like, how much pressure you put on the, um, I almost said pedals, not really pedals, but, like, buttons, but they're not even buttons, it's weird. Alright, go, come on, come on, and right, back right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know there's gonna be a lot of guys right now that are like, why are you not in low range? These buggies, like, believe it or not, when you're going up steep hills like this, prefer high. They really do. It was about to flip backwards, and I was not willing to let that happen. Come on. Staying in the pa- Nope. <laughs> I was like, I'm staying in the- Nope. 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 Power was like, uh-oh. Yep, we've gone over. Gonna try and straighten it out, and then I'll flip it. This spot is nasty. It is really, really difficult, and it's really nasty to try to get up. If we 
can just pull just a little bit for there we go not bad up and over oh god i need bigger tires before this thing really could could take this on without a winch god i mean it's just such a tricky hill like i said if you don't have massive massive tires and the thing is too the other buggy is better for this kind of environment this buggy is good, but it's, like, the other one is better for this particular environment. Like, a lot of rocks, big, steep climbs. It's, the other one is better for that. This is not necessarily as much in its element here. A little bit of left, back right, back right. Oh, God. Okay, yep, going back down again. Damn it, I did not mean to reset it that time. I just meant to winch. Oh, crap. But you know what? We're good. We're good. We can start back up and keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, dang it. No, 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 no. How about this? How about this? How about this? We back up a little bit and get some speed. Go, 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 go. To the right, to the right, to the right, right. And then back left. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Do a little bit of sliding. I'm going to try and hook myself up right here and then get back on it and go, 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 go. Okay, that got sketchy. That got sketchy really quick. Gonna be a hell of a drop right here. This spot is so crazy. It's so difficult. Like, I, you just, you, you flip over the second you even breathe on this obstacle. Which is why I'm actually gonna go ahead and winch this one. Because, like, this in the other buggy would be, like... It'd be a lot, it'd be a lot easier. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you guys straight up, it'd be a lot easier in the other buggy. This buggy is kind of at a disadvantage on this hill. It, oh, it's, yep. Save it. No, trying to save it. Actually, well, I tried disconnecting the winch, and I couldn't disconnect it in time, so it just kind of circled around itself. Oh, God. Hopefully my battery doesn't die then. <laughs> there we go, there we go, come on. Ooh, damn. When the rear end catches traction, if you're not ready for it, it will, it will completely, completely go over. Yes! Yes! That is the line! That is the line! Oh my god, that is the line. And that is the end of the trail. So we didn't winch, like, as much as I thought we were gonna have to. I mean, I knew we were gonna have to winch some, but I, I didn't think we were, like... I knew we were gonna have to winch some, but I honestly thought we were gonna have to winch more uh, than we actually did. So that's actually I, I'm 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 pretty okay with that, especially with this particular buggy being not quite as effective as the other one. Now we'll come back to this trail uh, to Impossible Hill in the other buggy, give it a shot. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll be posting tons of videos on the new Gigabit Off-Road update throughout this week, as well as Spin Tires and Forza. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.